Hi there. Now, if you watched the first video in this series, we looked at integrals that had this form here. And I've got three examples of integrals that we discussed that had this form. Just briefly, as a recap, with this first one, f of x was x to the power 4. We had something to the power 4 here. That's something we called g of x, which was 2x cubed plus 1. And when you differentiated it, you got 6x squared, which was being multiplied with fg of x. And similarly, I leave it to you to have a look and check that these two examples take on this form. But what happens if, for instance, the constant changes? Let's say instead of this constant 6, it's now a 7. And for this one, we had that the differential of g of x was 20x to the power 4. But we changed the constant, not from a 20 now, but to, say, a 3. And in this last one, we had g of x was sine 3x, and when you differentiated it, we had 3 cosine 3x. That constant 3 from the 3 cosine 3x changes to another constant, let's say 2. So how do we handle integrals that essentially have this form, but the constant has changed? We introduce a constant here. Well, it's no different, really, from what we were doing before. Remember, it was based around integrating f of x and then replacing x with g of x. But we've got this next step here where we've got to adjust for the constant a. So I'll take you slowly through each of these examples. Let's start with number one. Now, remember then, in number one, we've got f of x, is x to the power 4. It's based around x to the power 4, where that x is replaced with g of x, 2x cubed plus 1. And we've seen that if we differentiate g of x, we get 6x squared. But the constant has changed from a 6 to a 7. So let's just suppose that it was 6x squared here. I showed you in the earlier video that to do this then, we integrate f of x, so we integrate x to the power 4, that's going to be 1 fifth x to the power 5. But we replace the x with g of x, which is now 2x cubed plus 1, and that's raised to the power 5. And it would finish there if that were a 6x squared. But what we need to do then is adjust for that constant a. We need to multiply the 6 here by another constant to bring us up to 7. And so what we do is that that constant, that adjusted constant, will be the 7 divided by the constant that we've got here, 6, 7 sixths. And then we've got the constant of integration plus c. Another way of looking at this constant is just to look at it like this. We've got 6x squared. That's what we would like to be there, okay, if it was the previous type. But we now need to multiply it by this adjusting factor. And it's got to bring us to 7x squared. So if we divide both sides by 6x squared, you can see that that constant that we adjust for is 7 sixths. So essentially, we put in the constant that we are given, and we divide out the constant that we would have had from differentiating g of x, the 6 in this case. So all that we need to do now is just tidy this up. 1 fifth times 7 sixths is just going to give us 7 over 30. 7 thirtieths then of all of 2x cubed plus 1 raised to the power 5 plus the constant of integration c. Okay, well let's just try 
the second example. Now, in this second example, it takes on this form. Remember, f of x now is e to the power x. We've got e to the power something. That something is g of x, which is 4x to the power 5. And if you differentiate g of x, you get 20x to the power 4. But we've got 3x to the power 4, not the 20x to the power 4. So we need to adjust for that constant. So again, if it were a 20 there, we would integrate as we've done before. That is integrate f of x, which is e to the x. If you integrate it, you get e to the x. So we would have e to the power x. We replace the x with g of x, which is 4x to the power 5. And that would be it plus that constant of integration c. But we need to make an adjustment for this constant 3. And what it is, is we take the 3 and we divide out by the constant that we had when we differentiated g of x, the 20. So it's going to be 3 twentieths. And again, I'll just do it on the side here, just in case that causes any problems. What we had when we differentiated g of x was 20x to the power 4. So we've got 20x to the power 4. We need to multiply it by a constant in order to bring it to 3x to the power 4. And you can see that by dividing both sides by 20x to the power 4, you get that constant of 3 twentieths, which we put in here. All right. And in this last example, what I've done is taken a trigonometric type. And in this one, it's based around f of x being x to the power 5. And g of x is sine 3x. So we've got sine 3x to the power 5 here. And when you differentiate g of x, you get 3 cosine 3x. But instead of having 3 cosine 3x here, you see we've got 2 cosine 3x. So let's just imagine that in the perfect world it was 3 cosine 3x there. If it were, then we would integrate f of x first of all. So integrating x to the power 5 is 1 sixth of x to the power 6. But x is replaced with g of x, so that's going to be sine 3x, and that would all be raised to the power 6. But I'm going to write the 6 there. And that would be it. But we've got to change the 3 here into a 2. So what we do is we take the value we've got here, the constant a if you like, up here, which is 2, and divide it by the constant that we've got in the differential of g of x, the 3 here. So that constant that we multiply by then is 2 thirds to make that adjustment. And we got the constant of integration. And doing it the way that I've done over here, it would just be simply, I've got a 3, in g dash of x, and I want to multiply it by something to give me that constant 2. And you can see that it has to be 2 thirds if we divide both sides by 3. And so we've got it there. And just a question of cleaning this up now, 1 sixth times 2 thirds, that's going to be 2 eighteenths, which reduces down to 1 ninth. So you've got 1 ninth sine of 3x all raised to the power 6 and then plus that constant of integration c. Okay so I hope that's given you an idea then on how you can work with this type of integral by making an adjustment if necessary with a constant. And I must stress at this point okay because one of the most common mistakes that I find is that it only works when you've got to make an adjustment for the constant. You can't make adjustments if that was, say, 7x instead of 7x squared. It must be something x squared. 
When you differentiate the 4x to the power 5, it gives you 20x to the power 4. Some constant times x to the power 4. You can't make an adjustment if that said just x or x squared or x cubed. Okay, it must be something x to the power 4 and so on. So do take care with that. Only adjust for the constant. Now, in my next video, I've got a summary exercise. Three more questions that you might like to try that are based on this idea. So I strongly encourage you to have a go at those.